friends, welcome back to Mimi's Mix Bag. Thank you for stopping back by. And if this is your first video of mine and like what you see, would love for you to hit that subscribe button. If you're normally with me, you know that I am a few days later trying to get this video out because I'm looking for a specific thing to go with this project. And I'm today I'm going to make over one of these Dollar Tree cardboard mailboxes. They've had them for the last several years. They come in three different sizes. And my intentions of it at the beginning was to like paint it or decoupage it with some cute Christmas paper. But I tell you, the more I looked at it, the cuter this cardboard mailbox got. I just thought it kind of matched my interior decor or it's neutral enough where you could stick it anywhere. I thought, why redo it when it's already cute? Now they have other graphics. I knew they had one with a red truck, if that's your thing. You know, I didn't even really pay attention to the graphics because I my first intentions was to redo it. I just think it's cute as is. So I'm going to make it easier on myself. Now I've also seen these cardboard mailboxes at Dollar General and a lot of people just don't know what to do with these other than just sit them on the tables. So we're going to make a little standing mailbox with it. So this is what has held me up for a couple days was me trying to find some of these red solar lights. I saw them a couple weeks ago at Dollar General. The little ones like this were a dollar and the bigger version was two dollars and I didn't pick them up and I tell you I had no idea they would fly off the shelves. So I just grabbed one of these 97 cent ones out of my flower pot from Walmart and I'm just going to make it work. And next year I can always pull this one out and stick the red one on there. But it, this will work just fine. So we're going to move on and use what I have. The rest of the supplies are pretty much things you have already. Just normal, simple craft supplies. So let's go in the kitchen and let me show you what else I've gathered up. All right, to get started, you need to figure out what you want for your container. Now, these little cardboard gift boxes come in all shapes and sizes. You could even use a real flower pot, a clay pot. You could even use a small cardboard box and I'm probably just going to use a cardboard box just to show you how cute that will be as well so some kind of container that you can put your pole in now the pole we're going to use is just a gift wrap tube this is a good three foot long and you can make your little mailbox as tall as you want it you could make it just a tabletop size or you could make it three foot tall like the gift wrap tube. Now to cover it, you can paint it, decoupage it. I think the easiest way is just to wrap it in some cute gift wrap. I have this candy stripe paper. I'm just gonna wrap it and tape it and my pole will be done. So when I come back to you, my box will be painted and my tube will be covered with paper. All right, I'm letting the first coat of red dry on my box. And I got my pole wrapped in my gift wrap with tape. You can't get any more simpler than that. And just stuff the extra down in each end. But I'm going to keep my tube the full length. In order to make this small solar light work, I've just found a Dollar Tree paper spool. You might can find something else, even if it's just a little disc of wood or some other piece of cardboard. I'm going to paint it red so it kind of ties in with the pole. I'm going to poke it through there, all the way through, and then let me show you what it looks like. Once I paint it red and hot glue it in place, I won't have to worry about the light falling down the tube. All right, while some of my painted stuff is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting my two holes cut in my mailbox. Now, this is the opening of the mailbox, so my holes are gonna be back towards the end of it. Now, I'm gonna put a hole in the bottom of it, and I measured my tube, and it was almost exactly this little tapering that I had. So I'm gonna measure how far in I go and trace it, and then here on the top, try to match it on top, okay? I'm gonna trace it and then just cut it out with maybe a little serrated steak knife or craft knife, whatever you have. All right, I got my two holes cut and I was afraid they wouldn't be perfect looking and that's okay, I'm gonna cover that up. I would rather my holes be a little snug than be too big because I want my mailbox to, to fit on the pole pretty snugly. So I'm going to smooth it around and I'm going to take my pole and go from the top down. So just work your little hole until it's big enough so that your pole will slide all the way through like that. I'm just going to keep kind of bending it down a little bit so that it's big enough because I don't want to cut too much. All right, I've got it on there. My arm isn't almost long enough to show you, but it's on there pretty snug. I really don't even need to hot glue it in place if I don't need to. Just to give it a little finish, I've got some of this 
little wire tinsel. That is strictly optional, but I'm going to put just a little ring of tinsel around the top. Now the bottom is optional. It won't even show. And you also need to decide what side of your mailbox you want it to, to show anyway. You know, mine has this little flag. I'm just probably just going to glue my little flag in place so that it won't be flopping around or you could just take it off completely. No one's even going to see that. All right. Once my box is dry enough, I'm going to actually hot glue the bottom of the tube into the box. I'm going to put some rocks in there and then also just pack it really good with newspaper because this is super lightweight. It's not really going anywhere, but I want it to be as secure as I can. But if you had some plaster Paris or something like that, that would work perfect. But I'm just going to hot glue it and pack it with newspaper. All right, friends, I just put my finished mailbox on my hearth here. And I'm just going to explain to you the simple finishing touches that you didn't necessarily have to see me do. All right, I went ahead and traded out the landscape light for one in my yard that was already charged up so it would stay lit. Now, I'm not super crazy about the paper spool, but it enabled me to use this little one. But I'm going to insert a picture here of the Dollar General ones you need to keep your eye out for that you can grab one this year or have one for next year. But I'm so glad I just left the Dollar Tree mailbox as is. It is such cute graphics and there's just no reason to make it over. I put a little Santa envelope in there and then wrapping the pole with wrap was, a, was super simple and I wired a little wired Christmas bow underneath the mailbox. But as far as the box, like I said, I painted a cardboard box, painted a black stripe, used a yellow post-it note as my buckle and some Dollar Tree deer moss to cover up the newspaper. And no one would ever know that this cost three or four dollars to make. I saw one in a magazine a while back that was $99 and this is just as cute, really cuter to be honest with you. So I hope you'll take this idea and make yourself one of these mailboxes for indoors or under a covered porch by your front door or something like that. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back in a few days. Bye-bye.